Beth. I'm afraid I don't have that in my bag. already approved the print campaign. Yeah, I assure you, this is the right approach. Mom, I need five dollars for Mrs. Meyer's Christmas present. No, I am not dismissing your wife's suggestions. It's just that I have done such a great deal of research, and I feel that this is your target demographic. I'd love to have dinner with you and your wife. OK, goodbye. Get everything? Did you get your cannonballs? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jake, I might be home a little late tonight. I know, honey. Hey, aren't you forgetting something very important? Thank you, Joe. I love you. Love you, too. You. When? Like 20 minutes ago. He keeps calling to see if you're here yet. Oh my God, you don't think. No, 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 no. His secretary would have given me a heads up. Well, when Carl was fired, he didn't get a warning. Carl was a jerk, and we were happy to see him go. Weston Associates, may I help you? Good morning, Andrew. Sorry I'm a little late. Beth, I've been looking over these orbit spots you created. Yes? They're terrific. Thanks. The graphics, the log lines, it's perfect. Well, good. Big news, big. The hot new company, Hennessy Games. Oh. Shopping for a new agency. Uh, actually, they went with SSR. Well, they changed their minds. As of yesterday, they're up for grabs. And we have a shot to pitch them. Huh. Uh, when would you like the presentations by? Friday. Andrew, but today's Wednesday. Beth, no buts. They want to move fast on a new game they think will be the must-have gift for kids. They need something ASAP. We need to work round the clock for the next couple of nights. Oh, well, you know, the thing is... Oh, look, Beth, this is the big one. You reel it in, you're looking at a promotion. Well, I'm not... All right, how does Beth Sawtell, VP, Creative Director, sound? Well, it sounds like a lot more responsibility and a lot more hours. You know what? The I race is going to make it all answer. worthwhile. Well, that's right. I... Move on. Haven't you finished going through those letters yet? Give me a break, Ernest. There's a million of them. Your father could go through them in the blink of an eye when he was your age. Of course he could. You know, you'd better start taking all this a little bit more seriously. Nicholas, ready or not, you have to take on the role you're destined to fulfill. I know. Your father wants to see you in his study. Or a chat. A chat? That's never good. Now, the target audience for Mighty City is six to ten year olds. And your game is coming out at Christmas time, so the logical image would be Santa Claus. Now, most kids in that age group, they still believe. Isn't that rather stale? I have a highly respected actor in mind, Sir John Marshfield. Can you imagine Sir John in the role of the beloved classic Santa? I like it. Thank you. All right, let's see ya. Drive safe. Bye. Thanks again. Woo! Yeah, I did it. Well, for the next few days, I'm gonna eat, breathe, and sleep this campaign. So, uh, why don't you come in early tomorrow? 
No, tomorrow's Saturday. Jake has a basketball so, game. You know what they say? If you don't come in on Saturday, don't bother coming in on Sunday. Hey, Mom. Pop, let me show you what the elves made. <laughs> Please, act your age. Uh, your mother uh, and I would like to talk to you uh, about your future. Uh-oh. We don't mean to tell you how to run your personal life, dear, but... It's not personal, ma'am. The entire village is affected by Nicholas's decision. Or lack of one. Uh, Nick, I passed retirement age three years ago, so this has to be my last Christmas. The new term begins at noon on December the 25th. And for better or for worse, that's when you become Santa. You'll do fine. There's one thing you have to do. You have to get married. Your wife will play a vital role in the success of this organization. I may be the head of this enterprise, but your mother is the heart. I, I can't just marry anybody. I've been looking for the right woman for a long time. I just haven't found her. What are you looking for? Someone who feels like the other half of my heart. My soulmate. This is far too important to leave up to infatuation. You think that's what love is, Ernest? That's what you think it is, Nicholas. I think it's a far more sober undertaking. I have made a list of ideal candidates and narrowed it down to the most appropriate. It's time to settle down, son. I agree, Mom. But let me find the right woman. Nick, we've left this up to you, and you've come up empty. Now, Santa Claus without Mrs. Claus beside him is like a... Trying to make the Christmas sleigh ride without reindeer. Go and meet these young women. I'm sure you'll find someone you like. I doubt it. But all these women are in Southern California. As I said, they're the top candidates. I never pictured my... Mrs. Claus being a surfer girl. Sir, I'm... Oh, okay. You really should get going. Okay, buddy, draw your card. What'd you get? Hey, Joni. Hey. Sorry I'm late again. Oh, it's okay. Jake and Alex had a ball, as usual. You're a lifesaver. Forget it. You want something to eat? Uh, no, I had a sandwich at work. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Switch with you. Nice. Sorry. Well, I better get him home. I gotta work tonight. You're a workaholic. Oh, don't start, Joni. Well, it's Friday. Take a break. Can't afford a break. Oh, one of Rich's single friends is coming over for dinner on Sunday. He's cute. Spending the day with Jake. You know, you go out with a guy once, and then you just drop him. Give a guy a real chance. Which one? The one who wants to borrow money from me, or the one who drops me off because I had a child? You know, there are nice guys out there. Doesn't matter. I'm not interested. <sighs> well, Sunday, I'm going to take you to see that movie you've been wanting to see. Okay? Don't, don't you have to go to work? I can work afterwards. What, aren't you happy? I am. What's up? Nothing. Come on. We're supposed to love a dad like Alex is. You know, just because daddy's in heaven doesn't mean he's not with us. I was gonna ask for a mountain bike for Christmas, but now I'm thinking about asking for a dad. Honey, it doesn't work that way. Why not? Because you can't wish someone back. I miss him. I miss him, too. You better go to sleep. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Love you more. I love you more. I love you more. No, I love you more.
morning. Beautiful day, isn't it? Would you like a room, sir? Yes, I would, Mary. Okay, please fill this out. We require two forms of ID, including a credit card. Hmm. Uh, I would say this isn't really a requirement. It's more like an option. You think so, too? Ah, I suppose. Good. Oh, but you didn't write down your last name, sir. Oh, well, I prefer to be on a first name basis, much friendlier. How long will you be staying with us, Nicholas? I'm uh, Nick, and I'm not really sure. It depends. I'm looking for someone. Oh, may I ask who? I wish I knew, Mary. I wish I knew. to the stars, my child. Come with me on a magic mission to a place which only your imagination can conjure up. Oh, Santa, can I really fly with you on your sled? So cute. It's sleigh, not sled, for God's sake, sleigh! Cut! This is why the spies Are we surprised? We're not surprised. Make it go. Make it go. Make it go. Make it go. Um, everything's rat. fine. Don't worry. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. He's just acting. Are you aware that I did Hamlet with Laurence Olivier? Yes, My sir. Lear is considered the we definitive interpretation of the role. aware of that, Sir John. However, if you could be a little patient, patient with her. When you give me this... Child! Child! You're staring at her! She's little bitty! You're huge! How dare you treat me so little respect? I refuse to work for such a contentious woman! Ah! Get out of oh, my Sir way! John, please. If you did that, don't come chasing after me, you miserable one. Um, let me, let me, let me. Let's take a break for a few minutes. Hey, there's cookies over at Craft Service. You want me to get you one? Uh huh. Watch out! Nicholas. Mr. Nicholas? Uh, actually, just Nicholas. Just Nicholas. Well, uh, to tell the truth, it's Nick. Nick. I think you saved my life. Oh, I think I was just going to get a cookie. We're shooting a commercial, but we're having a little problem. Well, it seems to me that little girls do much better if they're relaxed. They'll enjoy it more, mm -hmm. huh? What, are you a professional actor? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, I, I just know kids. And I know that they do much better with sugar than they do with vinegar. Huh? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Holly. Holly? Holly, that's such a beautiful name. Would you like me to help you with your line, Holly? Okay, if I get it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, let's play, um, a little game. And the word slay rhymes with play. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play a little game, okay? Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna say the line. Come fly with me, my child. Come with me on a magical mission that only your imagination could conjure up. Oh, Santa, you mean I can come with you on your sleigh? Right. I did it. You sure did. I got it right. <laughs> that was terrific, Holly. Why don't you take a break while we wait for Sir John, OK? OK, sweetie. <laughs> 
was very nice. Oh. Thanks a lot. Uh, Nick. Nick, yes. yes. Right, I knew oh, I'm actually looking for 608 South Street. It's just a couple blocks up this way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Thank you. I'm actually uh, not from around here. I'm new to the neighborhood. Huh. And I'm mm. staying at the Posada Hotel. Oh, oh. Mm hmm. Would you like to have some hot chocolate with me? Hot chocolate? I prefer it to coffee. Actually, it's the little marshmallows which I love the most. No, thank you. I, I have to work. He says he's quitting. He won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. You'd better. Thank you. Bye, Nick. Bye. Are you on my crew? No. Then what are you doing here? Leaving. Good. Bye. You gotta see this. What? Jackie, the cameraman, grabbed some footage while that guy was talking with Holly. It's amazing. Well, it doesn't matter because we lost Sir John. We've lost the marshal. Hmm. Probably have no account. And after Andrew finds out, I will have no job. Just look at this before you apply for unemployment. Come fly with me, my child. Come with me on a magical mission that only your imagination could conjure up. The sky's a natural. You never got this excited with Sir John. Right. I did it. The camera loves him. I'll be back. Well, did you persuade Sir John to come back to work tomorrow? Um, I want you to come with me, and then you can fire me if you want to. Someone to replace Sir John. I don't want to replace Sir John. Well, just watch. Get the thing. <clears throat> the word slay rhymes with play. Slay, play. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to play. Okay. Okay. He's too young. Oh, look at him. He's fresh. This is a a new image for a new product. <laughs> All right, get him to sign a contract and get this commercial in the can. Okay. Excuse me. Um, I'm looking for someone who is staying here. This is going to sound crazy. I don't know his last name, but his first name is Nick. How'd you know? I have no idea. Uh, would you ring his room, please? He's not in his room. He asked me the way to Valley College. Valley College? He, yeah, I think he had to meet somebody there. Valley College. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thank, Thank you. you. I just can't play Santa. Yes, you can. I'm just not right for the role. It's just one commercial. I'm just not ready to be Santa yet. This is not Hamlet. It's just Santa. I'm not an actor. And that's what's so wonderful about you, is you're real. Just one commercial. Just one. Just one. No Santa suit. Why can't you play Santa and wear a Santa suit? Because I think it's wrong to use Santa for commercials. <laughs> He means much more than that. <laughs> You're serious. I'm very serious. Okay. No suit. Okay, I'll do it. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'll have the office drop the contract. I'm not going to be very good. Santa's rolling. 
Speed. And action! I know what every child wants for Christmas. It's Mighty City. That's good. It's all right. There we go. Oh. Okay, everybody, that's wraps. Hey, Beth. Hey! I heard the shoot went great after I left. I thought so. Oh, do you want some? Sure. I bet you're hungry. Thank you. May I sit? Here you go. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, I had to come here for a meeting. I hope everything's okay. Oh, terrific. Thanks to you. My boss is so pleased. Mmm. Mmm. This is good pizza. Can't get this pizza where I live. Can't get it delivered. Where's that? North Pole. North. The way north. Y you're Canadian? That's funny, I don't hear an accent at all. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm just trying to lose it, eh? So what do you do there? Well, I'm... I'm, I'm in my family's business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something that's been passed down from father to son for generations. Right. You like to travel? Uh, sure. I mean, when I can. Well, just never. Mm. <laughs> I'm a single mom, um, a child, a oh. job. You know, you have, you have a, a child. Uh, how old is he or she? He's seven. Oh. Jake. Jake, seven. Seven's a great age. He's adorable. If you and your son could go anywhere in the world, anywhere, where would it be? Yeah, I, I don't know. Do you like to ski? No. I don't like the cold. Mm, so I guess the North Pole would be out of the question. Uh, yeah. Freezing. Oh, good. You're still here. Need you in my office. Discuss how we're going to pitch him to Hennessy. Right. Okay. Listen, it was a pleasure working with you, and thank you again. M me too. All right. Ernest, what are you doing here? Your parents thought you could use some help. This isn't the first day of kindergarten. I think I can do this on my own. Did you meet the women on the list? The truth is, I met someone else. Someone not on my list. Forget the silly list. Forget the list. Forget the list. If the women on your list were more like Beth, I might be more interested. Beth Sotel. She has some very nice qualities. Such as? She's kind and warm-hearted, and her whole face lights up when she smiles. I don't know if I'll ever get to see her again, but I do know that I felt something for her, and I didn't for the others. Oh, my God, you like her. Christmas, it's Mighty City. He's fresh. He's appealing. Real. He's perfect for us. By Christmas, every kid in the country is going to be begging their parents for my game. Oh, we'll have the storyboards to you by Friday. We will. Good. I'll see ya. Nick? Hi. Hi, Beth. Um, can I talk to you? Sure. Uh, can... What has happened is... Beth, this was supposed to be a one-time thing. Well, there's a decent amount of money in it for you, Nick. I don't care about money. Oh, great. I'm going to be unemployed at Christmas time. You promise I'll be back by Christmas Eve? Yeah, promise. And these, these, these will reflect the true meaning of Christmas? Yes, they will. They will. And if I don't like something about them, you'll change it? I give you my word. Mm. Please? Pretty please? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. But first, you've got to do something for me. What? Come on. You are a little girl inside. You just got to let her out. Uh, hey, 
Beth, I gotta get going. I gotta talk to somebody. Sure. I'll uh, catch you in the morning at the office. Okay. We'll talk. All right, bye. All right, bye. Hey, Nick. I had fun. I had fun, too. <laughs> Ernest, I know you mean well, but you are cramping my style. I checked her out with your father. He remembers her well. She can't be a candidate. Why not? Because she doesn't believe. And you know that's absolutely essential. Number one on the list of requirements for your wife. Ernie, I'm going to change that. No, no, it's just that it's teacher development day and Jake's school's closed. No, no, it's okay. Um, you just get well, okay? All right, bye. You're in luck, kiddo. You get to spend the day at the studio with me. Oh, Mom. Great. Morning. Sorry we're late. There was traffic we had to set Why up. I won't be ready for an hour. We're a little behind. Hi. Nick, this is my son, Jake. Jake! A pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> He's the lead actor in the commercial. Jake. Jake Sartell. You didn't write your letter to Santa yet, did you? Not yet. How did you know that? Uh, we don't write letters to Santa. Beth, he needs to go over those changes with you and Andrew. She's not exactly sure what Andrew wants. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna go down to that cafe and get something to eat. Would you join me? Are you hungry? I'm starving. Ooh. Do you mind? No, sure, sure. Wait. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's have a little race now. Okay. He wanted less cell. Go. Ah, here you go. Here you Thank go. You, one sundae and one hot chocolate. Can I ask you something, Nick? Sure. Do you think my mom's right about Santa? What do you think? My dad said he believed in Santa, but Mom doesn't. She says the big boys don't believe in Santa. Mm -hmm. Well, can I ask you a question, Jake, man to man? Sure. Do you believe in Santa Claus? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. You've got a lot of questions, huh? Yeah, like how can Santa find a gazillion of houses in one night and leave all those presents? Some people, they think he doesn't. Some people think he's a myth, a story. That's what most grown-ups say. Yeah, but, you know, kids know better. You know what I think? I think that maybe, just maybe, Santa has magical powers. And with those magical powers, he can do anything. Anything is possible. So Santa could be real? Oh, sure he could be real, if you believe. Hey, we're ready for you on the set. Oh, okay. Mmm. Nick says you're wrong about Santa. Santa is real. Well, I didn't, ex I didn't exactly say that you were. Oh. Honey, why don't you run onto the set, and we'll be right behind you. Okay. Well, you had an interesting conversation. Well, he, Listen, yes. Listen, we've already had a little talk about Santa. Beth, I think he still believes. Listen, Jake's been through a lot, and right now the last thing he needs is to put hopes and dreams into things that are not real. You once believed in Santa Claus. Yeah, when I was a little child. Why'd you stop believing? I grew up. Is that the only reason? No, yeah. Uh, we need to get back to work. Hi, Jakey. Can we come to my basketball game on Saturday? No, honey, Nick's got his own life. Oh, no, I'd love to. Great! You don't have to go. No, no, no. no. It's, I'd love to do it. I'd want to. Uh, actually, I was pretty good in basketball, except I was on a team with all short guys. Maybe you can help me be better. I'm really lame. You are not lame. Basketball is just not your strongest sport. You have to say that. You're my mom. I don't have to say anything. Say, I I've got an idea. If it's okay with you, and if we finish on time on Friday, I'll come over to the house and we'll play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Cool. Nick, they're ready for you. Makeup. <sighs> Makeup. Makeup. You're good. I need to be sure and ask me in private before you invite company over to the house. Hey, have you seen this? 
Uh, not the whole thing, but enough to get a sense of it. Well, it's set up in the studio. Come, take a look. Uh... That's it. Beat you, loser. She's level one and level two are fine. All about building things. But the next half, it's about lying and cheating and scheming. It's totally inappropriate for children. That's who we're selling to, children. Oh, I would never let Jake play this. Beth, I'm sorry, but I cannot do these commercials. Oh. Well, the client will fire the agency. Andrew will go ballistic. And then he'll fire me. Not necessarily. I'm sure if I speak with them, they'll understand. Yeah, I'm sure they won't. Beth, given the chance, most people will do the right thing. You expect me to not only yank the commercials, but hold off on selling the game. Mr. Hennessy, kids will buy it, but they shouldn't. It starts off well enough, but once you get into it, it's all about mind games and power games. Why do you think we called it Mighty City? It's just like life. Not for children, it isn't. I'm sorry you were dragged down here. I had no idea about this ridiculous nonsense. Game ships in four days. I expect everything to go as planned. Won't be a problem. Are you insane? Mr. West, this isn't her fault. I'm the one who has a problem with this game. No, Nick, I'm with you. you know, I wouldn't let Jake play that game. You have a decision to make. Are you going to be a team player, or are you off the team? Listen, don't feel bad. I know what you're going to say, but don't feel bad about getting me fired. No. Because I can get another job. I'm not going to say that. Look, if it's okay with Hennessy, then it's okay with Andrew, too, right? Well, yes, but Mr. Hennessy's not going to change his product at this late date. It's the right thing to do. <sighs> I just have to make him see that. Oh, that's smart. How are you going to do that? By appealing to his Christmas spirit. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I need some information. Do you remember a boy named Mike Hennessy? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Hennessy! Mr. Hennessy, can I have just one word with you? I'm not going to change my mind. You always were stubborn, weren't you, Mikey? How do you know I used to be called that? I know a lot of things about you, including why you created these games when you were a little boy. You wanted to create a better world for yourself, better than the one you were growing up in. Who told you that? You can do the same thing for other little kids today with just one simple fix. No, morality is not, there's nothing wrong about it. She's right. Is that... Nick has a great suggestion. First half of the game is great for kids. It's the second half that's a problem. So we're going to end the kids version at the halfway point and market the entire game to grown-ups. Instead of one game, we've got two. Exactly, we double our market. So would we be doing the ads for the grown-up version? Sure. Anna. Hey, it's me. Uh, how's Jake? Yeah, can you put him on? Hey, Jakey. Guess what? You can stay up past bedtime so I can tuck you in. Yeah, I'll be home in a little bit. Okay. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. Okay, bye. You got it? Almost. Okay. Dribble, back to the basics. Run. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, almost. Back to the hoop. Put it right in there, right in the basket. Jakey, I know what your problem is. Your rhythm's off. Rhythm? Yeah, rhythm. You see, in the old days, the ancient Greeks, they started this thing called the Olympics. And whenever they would have their competition, they'd have a musician playing, you know, when they played sports. And they had a rhythm. And that's what you need. You need to get a little rhythm going. Let me think. Got it. Bum, 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 bum. Now you. Now 
had a little fun. I actually think I'm a much better coach than I am a player. <laughs> well, you've had quite a week, haven't you, Nick? You uh, saved our biggest account, starred in our commercials, and gave my son a basketball career. Oh, it's nothing. And he's a really good kid. You really do enjoy spending time with him, don't you? Sure. And I know who's been naughty or nice, and he's been nice. <laughs> You're amazing with kids. Just amazing. Never met a child I didn't like. And you, you make me feel really good about myself. Good. You're terrific. You really think so? Hey, baby. I gotta go, Mom. Why? I haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Yes, um, we gotta go. Get your stuff, honey. We gotta hurry, because we don't have a lot of time. Nick, wanna go with us? Yeah, sure. Where are you going? Shopping. OK. Mom? Yes, you can run on ahead, baby. I know every little thing that he wants for Christmas, but I can't <laughs> afford it all. So it's hard to decide what to get and what to leave out. Well, I'm sure Jake will be happy even if the toy truck doesn't pull right up to your house. I know, but I feel so guilty about working and not being home with him. The time is passing. Just yesterday, he was a little bitty baby. Now he's going to be grown and gone. Beth. Pardon me. If you could have a job where you stayed at home and saw Jake as much as you wanted, is that something you'd like? Of course. But stuffing envelopes isn't going to pay the rent. Oh, no. I love I'm thinking about something else. What? Mom, can I have a pretzel? Well, when you come up with it, let me know. I will. <laughs> How are those pretzels? Well, he's happy. Mm. Oh, 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 I'll tell the cheap toy maker at once. Don't forget to leave out the milk and cookies. The chocolate chip cookies, by the way. Oh, hello, my friend. Bless her little heart. really good idea. How's about we have a proper dinner? My treat. No way! You're gonna come home and have dinner with us. Same cards, then you, you just. And 
busy day, and tomorrow you got a basketball game. That's right. You got a big game tomorrow. Say goodnight. Night, Nick. Night, Jake. I know. I'll be on my way, too. Uh, you don't have to. I'll just be a minute. Bye. See ya. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You have fun in huh, Mom? We sure did. Did you notice how they kind of make everybody happy. No, I didn't notice that. He made you happy too, didn't he? Jake, don't get any ideas about me and Nick. He's great, Mom. I know. The other guy doesn't want to just pretend to like. But Nick really does. Yes, he does. Good night. I'll bet Dad would have thought he was nice. Yeah, I bet he would have. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I love you more. I love you more. Sorry, I had to wrestle him into his PJs. Yeah. Mm. So, you're going to be here until Christmas Eve, and then what? Well, right after the holidays, I'm expected to take over the family business. Is that what you want to do? I, I don't have a choice. Mm, so you don't want to do that? Oh, no. Actually, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. It's just quite a legacy to live up to. So your father's putting a lot of pressure on you to do it? No, no, not really. It's just that he's really good at what he does. And I'm not so sure I can measure up. I don't want to be the only one in my family to let people down. Well, Nick. I've known you for a short while, but I don't think you would ever let anybody down. Everything that you do, you do it with all your heart. And anybody that does that, they never fail. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Sure. Well, I better go. Thanks for the uh, dinner. My pleasure. about when we played one-on-one? -on -one? About the rhythm, right? Boom, boom, dum, dum, dum. Huh? Good. She's pretty good. Who is that? That's Jocelyn. She's the best one on our team. She plays violin at school band. She isn't even stuck up like some other girls are. You know, they're all... Hey, look at me. I'm so popular. <laughs> We're not Jocelyn. Well, she sounds like she's got it all together. I gotta get her a Christmas present. Something that costs a lot. I've been saving my allowance. Why? She thinks I don't like her. You know, Jake, the value of a gift doesn't matter. It's the thought, the feeling that counts. Why don't you try to find something that'll impress her in a different way? What do you mean? Something that touches her heart. Like what? Like, I don't know. You gotta figure that out. But I promise you, I guarantee you, 
It'll mean much more to her than anything you can buy in a store. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi. You are a very good player. Thanks. I'm Jocelyn. This is my brother, Christian. He helps me practice at home. He makes a lot more baskets than I do. <laughs> Well, Christian, nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Hi. Yes, why? Here. Show them how it's done. Saturday. <laughs> I'm gonna be not working and hoping Andrew doesn't call. Well, how's about coming by the library today? South Street. I'm gonna be the guest speaker on reading time. Oh. What are you reading? It was the night before Christmas. Of course. Of course. My name is Nicholas. And I'm going to read to you a poem called Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. Okay, here we go. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, "'while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. "'And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, "'had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Air he drove out I guess of he's a really good reader. Happy Christmas to all. Mm -hmm. And to all, a good night. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
Hey. Hi. Uh, that was really great. Oh, thanks. Fantastic. Um, guess what we're doing? What? We're gonna buy a Christmas tree. Oh! <laughs> uh, we didn't know if you would like to come with us. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank you. It's too late tonight. Tomorrow? Maybe. I gotta work tomorrow, so maybe tomorrow night. Hmm. Maybe means no. Oh, <laughs> not necessarily. Come on, it's bedtime. Come on, Jay. Oh, Beth? Yeah. You want me to get out the Christmas decorations? Give you a head start on the tree? <laughs> um, yeah, if you can find them. They're in the garage in a little box marked Christmas, I think. Christmas. Let's keep the Christmas decorations. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, la, 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 la. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, la, 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 Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, da 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 da. Never seen these ornaments. Don't you believe in Christmas magic? No. Don't you look in the rafters of your garage at those extra two boxes? <gasps> no. They must have been here before we moved in. This is amazing. I thought it'd be terrific for Jake to see this in the morning. Yeah. Oh. Save the star for you. Okay. It's complete. It's beautiful. Oh. Found this too. Snow globe. Great. I remember these. May I have this dance? to a snow globe. Uh, 
time. I've got to work in the morning. I can't believe you're still wasting your time. Oh my goodness, you're in love with her. I suppose I am. You're right, you're right, Ernest. I love her. I am so in love with Beth. Never let it be said that I shied away from a challenge, no matter how impossible. My job was to make certain you had a wife by Christmas. And while none of my candidates seemed to have worked, you seem to have found one. And we only have a week. That's seven days, 168 hours. Have you kissed her yet? No. Uh, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the right moment. I don't believe this. You insist on pursuing a romantic match instead of a sensible one. But you don't make your move. My move? You know what I mean, Nicholas. Oh, Ernest. With all due respect, I don't need your help in courting. How are you going after her? I'm taking my time with her and letting her get to know me. I'm not just going to rush in. It's time to start rushing. All right, what's going on? What? You barely said a word all night. There's nothing. Is there a problem at work? No, not really. Is it Jake? No, he's fine. Well, we know it's not a man, so... <gasps> it is! It's... It's someone. And? And it's... Who is it? We're not dating. Well, who is it? His name's Nick. And I think he's single. Huh? And he's cute in this smiling, loving kind of way. Oh, that's good. Just, <laughs> he's drop-dead gorgeous guys are usually jerks. And he's definitely not a jerk. In fact, he is different than any man I've ever known. Oh. He's a big kid. I mean, he's not Peter Pan, but he's fun and uninhibited. Ooh, that sounds promising. Well, he's very kind. But we're working together right now, so I think it's very inappropriate for us oh, to even... It sounds promising, Beth. Yeah. Give it a chance. Well, we just met, so... Um, he's not from here. He's got to leave on Christmas Eve. Well, then strike while the iron is hot. What the... I, I'm not striking nothing. Beth, you lit up just now when you were talking about uh, this guy. Flicking. I have not seen that in a long time. It's good to see a little of the old Beth again. It's just a... start. I researched this subject, and the steps are very clear. Thank you. Select your target. Target. There's a certain amount of inane conversation, but if the lady laughs at your jokes, that seems to be a good sign. Then you buy her gifts, like flowers or chocolates, and if she likes those, you kiss, and if neither one of you finds that nauseating, you close the deal. Ernest, where did you do your research? The art of the deal? My point is, Nicholas, that you're doing the same thing with this woman that you've done with the job, and I know why. Okay. Please tell me, Doctor. If you don't go in the kitchen, you won't get burnt. But you will go hungry. Come in. Hi. Hey. Reception didn't tell me you were here. I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> Come in. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Just you and I? Excuse me. Uh, Beth, we're having dinner with Hennessy tonight. He wants to hear your ideas on the spring campaign. I make nice flowers. I'll pick you up at 7.30. Sorry, Nick. Would you like me to babysit for Jake tonight? That'd be great. You don't mind? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
And nice roses. These are for you. I'll see you uh, a little bit before 7.30. Scissors. <laughs> I gotta hate doing this to you guys. Sorry about this, guys. No problem. We'll have a jolly time. Okay. That's Andrew. Hi. Oh, good. You look good. Oh, thanks. Good. Okay, be good, oh, Jake. We gotta hurry. Don't argue about bedtime. Just go to bed when he says. Thank you so much for doing this, mm. Nick. Have a great evening. See ya. Mm -hmm. Now, where does your mother keep the chocolate ice cream? In there. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. Let's... Wilkers, hi. Hi. You have a fun time? Oh, it's work. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So you're boning up on your advertising? Yeah. No. No, no, just... Just tidying up, tidying up, just mm -hmm. helping you out around the house. <laughs> Shall I make us some hot chocolate? Yeah. Sure. Normally, you would never disagree with a client, but when he started to say that Meet the Beatles was their greatest album ever, I had to say something. Because, of course, it's rubber, rubber soul. soul. Everybody knows that. Beth, why did you stop believing in Santa Claus? What is it with you and Santa? Well, he's a really great guy. Really? Mm-hmm. Think of it this way. He never brings you socks and underwear. He hates fruitcake. And he is the single largest employer of elves in the entire universe. <laughs> What's not to like? I stopped believing in Santa when I was eight years old. I asked him to grant me what I thought was one simple wish, and he didn't, of course. So that's when I stopped believing. You know what I miss about loving someone the most? Hmm. Knowing that I am everything to him, and that he's the other, the other half. half of your heart. Okay, sweetheart, go upstairs and I'll bring you a glass of water. Okay. I better go. Oh, you really don't have to. No, he needs you. Sounds good. Four o'clock? Four's good.
Jake. It's Mr. West. Is your mother there? Wrong number. Finally got him to bed. <laughs> he was excited. Sure. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm usually not this smooth. Oh. But you're a Cary Grant. Not even Hugh Grant. <laughs> Just an ordinary guy. Oh. In a mood lit night with an extraordinary girl. Thank you. You only get one chance at a first kiss. And I want it to be perfect. May I kiss you, Beth? Hold that thought. Finally. I've been trying to get through for hours. Does your phone work? Uh, I think so. Did Jake tell you I called? Oh. Nope. This has to get to the printer tonight, and I need you to tell me why it doesn't work. I can't put my finger on what's wrong with it. Then we have to finish the rest of the campaign. Andrew, do you know it's 10 o'clock in the evening? I know, and if I'd been able to get through, I would have been here hours ago. Listen, this is family. If we don't get this to the printer, then we missed the copy date. Hi, Nick. Wait, don't go. All Come right, in. should we just use this one? No, we uh, have to use that one, because that one's terrible. Terrible? I made these changes myself. This is a beautiful duck. Yes. Oh, that... Keep the bunny and the egg, lose a duck. Lose the duck? Lose the duck. Lose the duck. And this was Christmas. I've told you that. You put a red bow on. Beth, I really want you to be my vice president. You do realize you're a very special person, don't you? I couldn't do this without you. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Um. It's such a generous and wonderful proposal, but I am going to have to think about it. What's there to think about? Everything. Jake, for one. It's going to affect him as much as it affects me. Well, you do realize your future is at stake here, don't you? Mm hmm? Okay. Well, just promise me that you'll think about it very carefully, and you'll let me know tomorrow. All huh? right? Tomorrow. We wish you a Merry Christmas and Good morning, a Happy Nick. New Year. Hello, Mary. La 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 la. Happy holidays, la 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 la. Ernest, over here. Does she believe in Christmas yet? Not yet. I'm working on it. Have you kissed her yet? No. I gave you a game plan. What happened, Ernest? Sometimes things don't go according to plan. <sighs> You do realize that in less than 56 hours, your father will take his final Christmas journey. And in exactly 69 hours, you will take over Santa Claus. That's all the time you have to make a believer of her. Yeah, well, he's only going to be here one more day. And I don't know where he's going. I don't know if he's coming back. I, you know, I don't know anything about him. But how do you feel about him? I think he's sweet. Sweet is what you call a grandmother or a Danish. He's a guy. Yeah, I know he's a guy. Well, when you look at him, do you ever imagine what it might be like to... Joni. Kiss him? Maybe. Yes, I do. All right, then. Just, you know, just go with the flow. Enjoy the time you have together. Yeah, I know, but it's not that simple. I mean, what about Jake? Oh, gosh. Jake just adores Nick. It's going to kill him when Nick leaves. Beth, what Jake needs most is a happy mom. And Nick obviously makes you happy.
Oh, so, did you finish the campaign? Uh-uh. Oh, well, I'll be done by tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night is Christmas Eve, Andrew. And I don't think I'm gonna come to the office. Why not? You turned him down. Why? What, are you gonna make me say it? Now that I remember what I forgot for so long, that we were meant to be happy. You make me happy, Nick. stars from the sky and give each one to you each time you smile because making you happy is the greatest feeling in the world oh nick you are everything i never realized i wanted beth i've been keeping something from you i've got a secret ah oh, you're married no no oh good it's not bad good it's kind of wonderful oh. i hope you think so i will Santa Claus. <laughs> no, really, go ahead. <laughs> I am. Really? I'm Santa Claus. You're Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will be in two days. You will be in two days. Uh, Chris Kringle. Yeah, That's what they call me in Germany, seriously. Oh. Uh, in, in French, I'm uh, Paré. Chao Ting Tang. That's in uh, China. Ching Tao Ming. Yeah. Santa Claus all over the world. Nick. I knew it. Honey, um, did you, you're Santa Claus? I'm serious. All those things that happen, there's magic. You have to be Santa. <laughs> How do reindeers fly? Oh, that has to do with power and the thrust. You see, the wind hits the wings of the sleigh. That, in turn, hits the wings of the harness on the reindeer. Boom, that gives them a lift. For 1,700 years, that's been my family ever since the first St. Nicholas. Since then, every generation has given the job to the eldest son. This year, my father hands the reins over to me. That's enough. And you like my mom? How cool is this? I'm gonna have Santa for a dad. <laughs> no, baby. Nick, this isn't funny. I'm not trying to be funny. You wanted me to play Santa. Well, you believed in me as a pretend Santa. Now you've got to believe in me as the real thing. What? Are you a nutball? Stop it. How do you get to every home on Christmas night? Jake, stop it. And you stop it. Go to your room, and I'm going to come up there and talk to you. Beth. Good night, Nick. I know this is hard to believe. Well, yeah. Look, you've known me long enough. You've got to believe in me. You've got to trust me. What are you talking about? Why are you doing this? You've got to have faith in me, and faith means believing without proof. <laughs> Beth. Jake believes in me. Why can't you try? He's a child. I knew it was too good to be true. I finally find a guy I like. It turns out he thinks he's Santa Claus. That last Christmas, before you stopped believing in Santa, you wrote him a note. All kids do. And your last Christmas wish was that your father would come home to you. How did you know that? I can't do what I have to do unless I have you beside me. I need you to believe in me. I need you to leave and never come back. When you think about what I told you, think about it with your heart, not your head. Because your heart is so much wiser. <laughs> Nicholas. I'm truly sorry.
mask on, isn't he? Yeah. I'm never gonna see him again, are we? I'm afraid not. Why does that make you angry? Shouldn't that make you sad? It does, honey. So you do love him? Mm. You know what I don't understand, Mom? If you don't believe in Nick, you get nothing, right? Right. So if you do believe in him, you got nothing to lose. He checked out. What? Well, where'd he go? I have no idea. He didn't leave home address. Yeah. He wouldn't, would he? Sorry, Jake. You loved her a lot, didn't you, son? Being able to love that way will make you a great Santa, even though you are on your own. It's time, sir. On my way. Everything will be fine, son. Now that I can give you. What's he in sir? Don't you want to see if Santa brought you what you asked for? Merry Christmas. You gotta have more faith, Jake. Ho, ho, ho. 
<laughs> I'm gonna save for that. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the North Pole. I'm gonna introduce you to every single elf we have and the reindeer. You no know, Donner and Blitzen and Rudolph and Wait a minute. Rudolph. Rudolph, of course. So that's all true. Of course it is. Huh. I think I've got something.